Hey everybody, Barry here again. Do I say that a lot? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Um, today, I'm going to get the 9 inch ends ready to bolt to the 8.8 .8 caliper brackets. We can see that here, let's say if we line up this bolt hole, these are all way off. So we know that our 9 inch housing end is a lot bigger bolt pattern than our bracket. So what I'm going to do is line this up as best I can to make it even and equal. The hole that's out here, let's turn this over, seems to be about the same size as this one in here. So if I can put a piece of pipe in there and center it, and then really all I'd have to do is run a drill bit down here in each one of these holes to, you know, make the holes the same because it's close enough that I don't have to go getting a plasma cutter out or anything or torch and burning all this up. And I'm not concerned about the orientation of this or that to get the caliper brackets correct because when I put this on the end, I don't care if it's this way, I don't care if it's a 45 degree angle to get the calipers correct because this doesn't matter whatsoever. On the old drum brake setups, it did because your shoes had to be aligned a certain way to get the most energy out of your shoe and all that junk, but we're not concerned about that here. These can be either forward facing or rear facing calipers. Different trucks had different setups. And to be to change from a forward facing to a rear facing, you just took the same caliper, put it over on the other side on the front. So I'm gonna do mine rear facing. I just like the way that when you look behind in an old hot rod and you see the calipers, you know, kind of stuck off like this and just kind of tucked down behind the rim. It looks really cool, so that's what I'm gonna do. My front calipers are also rear facing, so it'll be uh, a little more sensible looking. So let's see what we can come up with. Something else I do have to keep in mind is my bearing retainer. When my axle and the bearing and all goes in, I gotta have a plate that's smaller than the bearing to go over and bolt on to keep the bearing in place, keep the axle in. So I'll do some measuring on another set that I have. And that's basically gonna go sandwich between our housing end and the caliper bracket here. So let's go on, the plate will go, and then everything will bolt in, and it'll squat it, and we won't lose our side axles. I work here at CarQuest in Lewisport, and I gotta say, one of the coolest things about working at a car parts store is it's pretty much all here, and there's no messing around. So I need to find something that's gonna help me align the housing end here with the caliper bracket, and we got a bunch of pipe adapters for joining exhaust pipes and stuff. So let's just grab this one, looks close enough. That's kind of close. That's a two and three quarter. It's a three inch over here. Hey, look at that. Now I'm not gonna weld this on or anything or, or destroy it because it is a for sale part. I just want to make something that's gonna align everything. That is tight. We are off a little bit. I'll just hone this out here in the middle. That'll get the space we need. A lot of rust built up in this. Hey, here we go. You can see that it uh, goes right in. Look at that. And it's very tight. Like, it's not going to be able to be wiggling around and stuff. That'll help tremendously. I went ahead, collapsed this in here, nipped it in the vise. And I can see that I got my holes just about lined up. I got to rotate it a little tiny bit. But with this pipe in here, man, that made a big difference. That helps align it perfectly. So I know that. It's not gonna be putting any pressure on the side axle. The caliper is gonna be perfect in relation to the rotor like this because it's not gonna be off center this way or you know whatever way. After I get this aligned perfectly, I'll nip it in the vise, put a pair of vise grips somewhere where I can and drive a drill bit through there, bolt it, drive a drill bit through the opposite corner, bolt it, and then I know that it won't turn on me as I'm drilling it out. 
this is going to be a whole lot easier than I expected, actually. Close enough. Let's send her home with the drill bit. That's not going anywhere. Here you have it, all lined up and drilled. This one's not done yet. Nice. So I think where I've got it nipped in the vise and vise grips nipped down here, I think I'll go ahead and put a bolt in this one and drill this one here, tighten the two of those up really tight. That way it's not gonna move or rotate anyway with the pipe in there. And here we have it, folks. Lines up perfectly. All four bolts are in. Lots of space for our bearing to go. Now I just need to make an axle retainer to go in between, but I'll do that when my bearings come in so I know exactly how big or small to make the hole so that it rides up against the outer race of the bearing and not in on the seal or the inner race because they have to spin separately. Well, I'll go ahead and get side number two done. And we're making some progress today. Here we go. Both caliper brackets with nine inch ends bolted to them. Pretty clean job, not a lot to it. This adapter pipe made a big difference. Here's part number if anybody wants to use it for this here. This is a Mustang 8.8 .8 caliper bracket from 1989. And this is a Ford big bearing housing end. We got some good news. The nine inch ends are dropped off to the machinist. He's gonna face them for me, make sure there's no run out. So I'll have the ends welded on perfectly straight and we won't have any issues with bearings, binding or anything like that. And starting to get some parts piled up for this thing. Plates, U-bolts, Flange with all the bolts, pinion, not all that stuff. And our spring pads. Caliper brackets. I took the housing ends of them because he didn't need all this junk. He just needs to face them up. So that's no big deal. What I'm going to do next is <clears throat> cut all these brackets off here and make sure this is good and clean. I think that's what I'm going to do maybe tonight or tomorrow. And as soon as he gets those housing ends back, I can put... The, well, I can basically put it all together, cut off the housing ends off of this one and get it all the correct length. I'm going to take the differential, just the center section out of the forward outside, 
and use that for a mock-up. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.